This is the buy of the day. We see the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. I ain't tasting that. I'm gonna go and get some cake. Yo, get my scone on. I'm gonna get my scone on. Oh, that looks well witchy. Good morning, how are we all doing today? They have to excuse the mop because I got caught in the rain. I actually quite like it a bit like rainy messy. That's the thing with this haircut, it's brilliant. Anything goes and I just, yeah, love it. So I was gonna kick off this vlog by showing you the coves that I bought the other day because I said in my last vlog I was going to go shopping and update my wardrobe for the next season so I've got a few bits here I'll try them on and show you the outfits that I have in mind top from Topshop this jumper I love the colour I love the fit I love the neck of this I think it works really well with my short hair so yes this is a keeper this is actually a size 10 I probably could have sized down but I really like the oversized fit so I'm happy with it and then these jeans here these are also from Topshop and they are the Lee jeans yeah they're the Lee super soft ankle grazer petite fit now I really like the length of these and as I said I'm five foot three so maybe they're a tiny tiny bit too short I don't know but I like the length of them so I'm happy with those I think I'm going to try some other Topshop ones too, but this was my first try because I haven't bought Topshop jeans for ages. It's quite a thin material, it's quite jeggony, really comfy. So yeah, I'll see how these go and then look at some other pairs too. This is the buy of the day. I love these boots. $24.99 from GK Max. I was actually going to buy some of these from, well this kind of style boot, from Topshop and I can't remember, somewhere else too, and they were like 70 or quid, 24.99 usually, but they're not leather, but they're really good quality, so I'm happy with those. I can't breathe today. I've got a cold. If I was a man, I'd be in bed right now, man pluing it up, you know, but it's just a sniffle. It's just a chest. We're all right, we're good. Next up is this t-shirt from H&M. It's an off-white kind of creamy colour with a polka dot but it's kind of like a rough polka dot and yeah just a really nice kind of basic tee 3.99 something a little bit different with the polka dots so yeah i really like this works really well with black jeans and these boots huh? what did you just say I said that looks gorgeous oh it's gorgeous <clears throat> that looks gorgeous yeah be all manly i I'm, think I'm this is i'm managing through it what are you on about so <laughs> this roll neck is the roll neck of dreams Green. If you've got a bad neck, you don't need to go to the doctors, just wear this. Yeah, I love it. Again, I think it works really well with my short hair. Massive roll neck, I love it. Nice length, just, yeah, really, really nice. I think this might be a size 10. Let's have a look. It's actually an extra small. It's one of those with, you know, proper sizes, just small, extra small, blah, blah, blah. So this is an extra small, and I'm a size 8 to 10. I love the fit, so yeah, really like this. It's like a marley grey. Mal. This top is from H&M. I walked in and I saw the white version and really liked it. So I bought the white and the black to take home and try because the key was massive. So this is the black. This is the one I prefer out of the two. I don't have a cami on underneath, so I know it's sheer, okay? I'm not gonna wear it like this. But I'm not sure about it. I really like it actually with this outfit. It's kind of like rock chick, kind of goth, like meh. Especially with my black nails. And yeah, it's a really nice material. Kind of lacy, frilly, buttony. I'm just not sure about the length. $17.99, a really good price, I think, because there is something nice about it. I'm not sure. What Go you're not sure about? Go either way, it looks a bit loose, a bit too loose. Loose? Body, yeah, too baggy. Yeah, but Ian's like the it. type that likes it skin tight. It's a great vampire costume. Yeah, I know, really yeah, it is, isn't it? that up. Yeah, that's what I kind of like about it. It's a vampiness. I don't know, I'm going to think about it. But then if I don't love it, it should go back, shouldn't it? That's, Hell yeah. Yeah. But I do kind of love it. Do I? don't know. I don't like the belly button showing. That's gross, isn't it? Whoa, a bit of button. Whoa. I don't know why I did a lot. It is a bit all though, isn't it? Uh, belly button phobia. So there's a the white for your information. It might look really nice on you, but I can't be bothered to try it on. Just imagine that on. There we go. So that one's definitely going back. And I'm thinking about this one. It's not really what I was shopping for, was it? Was it? Mm. So on my shopping list, I had chunky knits, two of, that's good. Basic tops, well I got this t-shirt, didn't I, the polka dot one, so that's a tick. 
flat boots, tick, jeans, tick. So I think this is going to go back and I'm going to get a lightweight knit or something that's actually on my shopping list. So we're now in my office slash den, like my little secret area, and I thought I'd give you a little update on my spiritual metaphysical stuff. Now I have my little section of the room, the wall, that is a work in progress, but I thought I'd show you the bits that I've added to it. Now, if you're new to this channel and you're like, hang on a minute, I signed up for Primark hauls, just bear with, you know? I might learn something new. There's many sides to every person, and this is another side of me, is this. So, I'll show you the bits that I added, and also, I talked through the books that I bought too. So, I went in the works, and I got a well witchy vibe on, because there were witch books. The book of spells, three pounds. The green witch, three pounds. The Witch's Journal. I think this was also for Arm the Works. I can't remember how much because I took the stick off. I think it was probably three pounds. So this is all like spells and magic and use flowers and herbs and oils and yeah, do this to make your dreams come true. So I'm going to get my witchy on and do some spells. Oh yes I am. <clears throat> so I'll let you know how they go. That's quite interesting. Then I got Crystal Tips and Cures. Three pounds again from the works. This looks like a really nice reference book, so yeah, glad I got that one. Then I got in a charity shop, the Angel Bible. It talks all about angels, all the different angels, how to contact angels, angel, angel, angel. Then I got Fern Cotton's Happy book. This was one pound thirty. I almost bought it as a hardback for like fifteen quid or something, but I didn't. Yes, now I got a bargain. And then this one, Spiritual Growth. A pound. Yeah, I don't really know. Someone's highlighted stuff. Yes, you know, it's good when there's a highlighted bit. I bought a tree. Yes, I did. So this is for hanging purposes. I have knickknacks to hang. So I've got a little angel. I've got some crystals. I've got a wind chime. I just put all this on there now just to get it out of the way, basically. But I'm going to have a faff about. I got this forever for my sister. I was going to put it in the garden, but... I quite like them there. Then I saw this and I thought that's well witchy. That is so witchy. So I thought I'm gonna have it. I'm having it in my witchy area. White candle. This table here is my grid table, my crystal grid. I'd normally have my big amethyst in the middle, but I'll just put that there to show you. So that's my grid. Then I have my house that I bought plain. It's like plain wood, but I have recently painted it. I used Annie Sloan chalk paint, so had grey on the bottom, cream on the top, and I've sanded it down to shabby it up a bit, which I quite like. So the purpose of this area is to have all of my little trinkets and knickknacks that are related to this kind of thing, to positivity, maybe even to, for example, like this. This was my sister's. So, you know, I have that there so I can sit and think about her. This was something from our childhood, so it really makes me think of her. But it's also somewhere I like to put crystals and things you collect too. So I'm going to put in crystals here, some feathers, some pictures, all sorts of things. And they're going to stay here. I just had to tell you about this. This rock we found on holiday. Now me and Ian were sat having dinner on a pebbled beach. We're high up, sat high up, looking down. And I said to Ian, I am looking at a pebble. Which one is it? And he picked this out, the right one, out of... A pebbled beach so that is my love pebble so that's definitely gonna go in this area and then I'm starting to collect colored candles as well so I saw this little black one I thought that would be handy for my manifesting then at the top there on this door I actually have pictures for my goals and for my manifesting I need to revamp this I've just put them there to get them out of the way because they were here but I'm putting this up there instead so this is a work in progress i haven't had the time to sit down and do a lot with this at all in fact what i think i really need to do is manifest some time because i just haven't had time to sit down and focus on this or i haven't made time we all have time i just haven't made time so yes my little wooden house needs to get on the wall and i need to fanny about fanny about <laughs> potter about Rejudge my pictures, just give it a good old cleanse, a good old boost. That's what I need to do. That's where I'm at with that. 
quite happy with the bits I've collected. But tomorrow, I think I'm going to go crystal shopping. Oh, yes. I'm going to get a big crystal. I really fancy a big crystal point. I feel that's what I need in my collection. So a few of you have been asking about my jars. Let's go and have an update. So there are my jars. Now, if you haven't seen the first video, I'll link it down below and I'll explain what the experiment is all about. But basically, you put rice into four jars and you write on the top of each jar, love, hate, whatever you want to kind of experiment. And you focus on that feeling, so feelings of love, with that jar of rice. And you see what happens to the rice. So the idea is that the love rice is meant to stay nice and the hate rice is meant to go manky and so on. Here are my results. Ta-da! So this is my love jar. This is my hate jar, this is my rainbow jar, and this is my ignore jar. So the ignore jar is like the test jar where you don't do anything with it, you just leave it. So we'll start with the love one. As you can see, it's nice and white. The hate one, it started to go like an orangey brown colour. And then my rainbow one is, well, it's got colour to it, definitely got colour. It's the most colourful one. So we look at them together. I mean, the rice was put in on the exact same day, at the same time, the same amount, the same rice. So you can see the difference. So with the love jar, you can see that it's the whitest one. My only disappointment is that the hate jar isn't like really manky. I thought that would be the mankiest one. But it's not so i don't really know why but yeah the love jar is definitely the best one out of them all and then the ignore one is the mankiest one the one where you do nothing with it so like the test one if you like where you put no feeling into it whatsoever it's uh yeah it's manky but with the rainbow one the idea was that i wanted lots of color to come out of it so i was thinking of lots of colorful things and rainbows and all sorts of things like that and yeah, lots of colours going on in there. There was bits of green coming out, that seems to have gone. But yeah, this one, the hate one, it's starting to go manky. And you can definitely see the colour difference between that one and that one. And in fact, if you line them all up, you can see, yeah, the rainbow one's definitely colourful. The hate one's definitely changing. And the love one is staying whiter than the rest so yeah interesting i think what is really difficult is say you're in a bad mood and you hold the love jar and you're trying to be all like oh feelings of love and you're like i'm really not feeling it that's the tricky thing so i think the hate one i don't know maybe i'm just not feeling any hate and i don't think i am so when i'm holding the hate jar it's a bit tricky if i change the word to moody or irritable or stressed that might work better so yeah i might rethink things but i'm gonna keep it going see what happens um but yeah i'm finding it difficult to kind of put you put the right feeling into it which is essential really i can't hold my love jar and be like oh i'm really not in the mood for this this is crap this is boring this is not working and expect loving feelings to go into it you know what i mean so yeah it's tricky but generally I think it's like kind of working, you know? There's definitely something going on. So I think I'll carry it on, keep going with it, see what happens. I've been doing this for, I don't know, six weeks. And then for the last few weeks, I've really not been doing it because I've been so busy. So yeah, I need to really focus on it and do it every single day. But generally, hmm, I think there might be something there. I'll carry, like I said, I'll carry on and see what happens. Maybe there is something in after all. What do you think? Leave your comments down below of what you think. Can we see the rainbow? Taste the rainbow. I ain't tasting that. Ugh. Right, now to crack on with some housework. I didn't wash up last night. Ugh, gross. I feel disgusting. I am disgusting. Didn't wash up. Gross. Sick. That's me. So I'm going to wash up do a bit of housework, and then it's time to go and get Effie. It is school run time, and I feel like that. I feel hot and cold type. I need to judge myself. 
I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheek, Lip Cheek, <laughs> Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk just to fill in my lips and then I'll go over it with the lipstick. It's a really good nude, like a brownie pinky nude, peachy pinky brownie nude. And then I'm also going to use the Cheek to Cheek blusher as well, give myself a bit of colour. That's it, spray some perfume on, done. Outfit of the day, got my Zara green coat on, lightweight, love it. Got my, what's this? What's this? It's a black t-shirt, where from? H&M. And my Wallace slouchy casual trousers with my Adidas trainers. Quite like this look, what are you thinking? Do I look cool? It's kind of cash, cool. Yeah, like I'm a cool mum. Do I look like a cool mum? Yeah. Yeah? Ice cool. Yeah. Right. It's going to go Bobsy. And on the way back, because it's Bake Off tonight, I'm going to get some cake. What cake do you want? Don't say anything, Elaine. Let's uh, go Hamburg. Uh, bam, um, walnut and coffee. Walnut and coffee. So don't say it's Elaine. That is Elaine. Victoria Sponge. Triple whammy whammy, <gasps> layer layer whammy the scone, whammy. The, the scones with clotted cream and jam count as a cake. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was hoping you'd say that. Yes, scones it is. We're early. Ian's on the school run today. He's my companion because he needs to go pick his car up and I have to go and drop him off. But I like to turn up early because I like to get a space on one of them. Yeah. You are you're one of them. I am. So, yeah. Just waiting for Effie and then I'm gonna go and get some cake. Yo, get my scone on. I'm gonna get my scone on. Ian? Yep. You're gonna get your scone on? I am, but unfortunately my scone on is gonna be a bit late because I'm gonna be on the phone till seven. Yeah, we won't be sconing until Bake Off. <laughs> what time's Bake Off? Do not off? think you're sconing before Bake Off. What time's Bake Off? Eight o'clock. Can we get low sugar jam? Why don't you just ruin it? Just ruin it. Go on, just ruin it. How about, don't bother having cake, have air. That's Hello. It's really slender, the shape of it's even all the way down. You've sort of got a fold rather than swell. Hello, so today we went out crystal shopping and I forgot to bring my camera. Mm, I was gonna bring my camera along, but I totally forgot, I was driving along. Dang, I've got my camera. So I took some snippets on my phone just to show the crystal shop I went to because it was like, oh my god, amazing. It was close by to me. It's been there 25 years and I've just never known about it. Don't you just love it and hate it when that happens? You know, you like discover something. So yeah, that's like my local crystal shop now. So I put in a clip of the Aladdin's Cave now. Snaffle, snaffle, snack. So I'll show you what I got from the Shop of Dreams. So when you go crystal shopping, you're kind of meant to use your intuition of what kind of lures you in and what you really fancy. And I was lured in by a bit of tiger's eye. Um, I don't really know why. I need to investigate the stone more. I know it's for helping with your psychic ability and that kind of thing. But I don't know too much about it, but I was really, really drawn to a, a couple of different Tiger's Eye stones. So I thought, I'm going to get it. And it's a really nice flat piece to have in your hand. So I've got that one. But this is what I actually went for. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. A massive clear quartz point. I nearly bought something different, but I need to go basic. And I know it doesn't look basic, but a clear quartz crystal is kind of like the standard thing. If you're starting out, go clear quartz. It's like... The good all rounder.
So this is going to go in the centre of my grid. And then I've got four pieces of, I can't remember the name, Rondite, I think. I've got it written down, so I'm going to have to have a look. But I was recommended this to go on my grid as well, to place on the outside of my grid to kind of box it all in and keep it all contained, all of the intentions and energy that I've put into the crystals. This will kind of like fence it out, if you like. While Luke is quiet, let's quickly go and put it on my table upstairs. That's my grid at the moment. So I'm gonna take that off and put on this one in the middle. And then I'm going to leave these around the outside, which is citrine and clear quartz. These ones are gonna go around the outside. Oh, that looks well witchy, doesn't it? Wow, manifesting. What I need to do is cleanse this crystal. So I can do that later tonight because I can't use it yet until it's all cleansed and it's fully mine. Mm -hmm. 